put it on the outside of the middle of the cylinder, or excuse me, take, the, take your inside nostril and put it on the middle of the cylinder. Now if that's an in, some people's noses are wider than others, some, sometimes you miscalculate, but that gives you a little bit outside the middle of the cylinder. And I don't relate it to numbers, I relate it to the middle of the cylinder, wherever that is, okay? You know that now. Okay, going back to this thing here. So step on his feet with your feet, outside. Okay, now, if you were pass protected in the middle of the cylinder, the quarterback would be in a, on a different angle. Now, I mean, I the middle of the cylinder, the quarterback back here, the runner's there, so the middle of the cylinder changes a little bit. I'm not here to talk about pass protection anyway. Okay, onside. Angle of departure, I can talk about that. Angle of departure is well, how you get out of your stance and how you aim yourself to, to uh, leverage the point of attack, right? So I'm going to have my head outside, because the coach said to have your head outside and get your head outside. Get your head outside. Intercept and push an angle with your head. Okay, so cover him up and let the ball carry moving you forward. That's twice now. I said that. The other deal. Uh, now, here's a, an outline. You're going to cover a guy up with no help, okay? You're not going to have any help. It's going to look like this guy here, okay? It's going to look like that, covered with no help. So let me talk a little bit about that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make controlled contact, okay? This may sound quite different than somebody else that stood up here, okay? So, Use whatever you, makes you comfortable, whatever drives your motor. This drives my motor. I, it is not important how hard you hit the guy. It's how, how you finish him. It's where you have your, it's how you leverage him, both in point of attack and how you, what you have, where your shoulders are in, relation, in, in, in relationship to his shoulders that determines how you're going to be able to actually block him. It, it has not a fucking thing to do with how hard you hit him. Unless you're going to knock him down. If you can knock him down, then good, good deal. It has nothing to do with how hard you hit him. So the strike that I talk about is a controlled strike. Do I like, do I like him snappy? Do I like to roll hips? You know, all of that stuff is all there. But in fact, I slow guys down so they don't act like a heat-seeking or like a torpedo. <clears throat> Like this, with their, you know, and then they, if you miss, you're, you're, you're dead. Okay, I want contact. The most important thing is that you have, <laughs> the most important thing uh, is that when the whistle blows or when the ball carrier crosses the line of scrimmage, you're on some big bastard that has an opposite colored shirt on than you do and your feet are moving, you got your hands on. That's the most important thing you can do. So, Let's not do anything to get ourselves out of that or even risk not, not having that. Okay, so you've got an outside middle of the target, you've got a control strike, strike. Uh, if you will, I, it's not quite a drop step sometimes. The guy's real close to me. I might not take a, a literally take and hit him on my second step. He's too close to me. I might not be able to do bang, bang. That's all. I tried that for a long time. But I may, be, I may just be able to hang, because this guy's doing that. I might be hang, I might be going, bam, I got my head outside. I got it. But the most important thing is that I timed it and hit him under control. And I got my head in the right place and my shoulders are down. So if he's real close to me and with, I'm going to hang a drop, uh, I'm going to have a hanging, uh, a lead step. I distinguish between the two. Uh, okay. So if I've got, I'm the right guard, for instance, and I have this, uh, I don't know, whoever it is, but somebody really good is blowing, doing that, and he's bigger than I am. Well, I don't want that son of a bitch crossing the tee on me. I don't want my foot to be, if that, this right here is for the guy, okay? And I think of Sam Adams, who plays on our team, and he's, <clears throat> he beats the snap count and guesses and all that shit. We can block him if we don't do, because he hits me, Boom. and he's shoving me into the, into the, but if I do the other thing, and he's blowing, I'm going to meet him in the backfield, but I don't have to block him now, 
I don't have to worry about what I'm doing now. It's when the ball carrier gets there that counts. Because remember, we saw that one, the very first one, when the right guard didn't get his head outside. He got driven in the back for a little bit. We can jump cut as long as we're flattening the guy out. So, well, kind of like this. You know, hang. Here, I don't wind up, but I mean, I'm doing that to balance <laughs> right now. So, I, I'm going to hang myself. Like bang, and I'm going to take him out of that angle. And we might even end up where we we'll see where we're going to end up over here somewhere, and there goes the ball here. All right? Meet him in the backfield. Now, what I just did was I did the same thing for an offset nose man in the center. Okay? There's a guy, a lot of guys in here from Ohio. Oh, so yeah. You're from Cincinnati. Shit, that's a good question. There's a guy that played for the Browns a long time ago, or, yeah, I forgot about that, by name Mike Babb. And Mike was not a particularly quick guy. And they, the Pittsburgh Steelers had a guy named Dunn, who was a bitch. He was offset very young. And nobody, you couldn't block him, because you everybody tried to do that. Well, shit, you're, you're going to end up four, five yards in the backfield. I stumbled on this. I promise you, I'm going to tell you exactly where I got it. So I, I stumbled on it. And I thought, God, we need to get the guard working with a tackle. And you got to. Yeah, what are we going to do? So I told him, the very first thing I did, told him, I said, just like a trap, snap the goddamn ball, turn your shoulders to the side down like this, and get your head on the far side. Put your trap him like you're going to block back on the trap, and put your head on the wrong side. I said, we're going to try that. And I mean, it was a big risk. You think shit, we're, okay, so he did, you know, snap your head around and all that stuff. Well, he started driving him, and here's done. Oh, and he's done. And he can't make the play. Okay? Well, you got Boyce Green, who played at Carson Newman, gained 130 yards that day running that play. Uh, and it really helped to do that. So I'm just telling you, I didn't invent this shit because I had a uh, Dwight Stevenson or, or somebody like that. <laughs> this was Mike Babb, just a, kind of a slug and just kind of tried stuff shit up our way. Okay, so that was kind of the beginning of that, that hanging shit. So that's the way you take care of an offset nose man. If you, if you can block him, if you can get your head across, even meet him in the backfield, as I told you, hanging, hanging, hanging Lisa, <coughs> meet him in the backfield, and then distort him like that. Okay, I guess I made that point. Um, my wife says that I can, if you ask me what time it is, I'll tell you how I made the, how the watches made instead of what time it is, so I guess I can grind this shit out pretty good. Uh, Okay, remember I said step on the outsides of his feet. Hands on both sides of, his, of, 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 of your nose. Think of your nose being a Pinocchio nose. You're putting your nose right on the, well, not even Pinocchio nose, but you're putting your hand right on the, just slightly outside the middle of the cylinder, both hands, you know, just exactly, exactly what Mike does. I mean, I don't wind up, drop your head, I might, sometimes I throw a form, sometimes I rip, but uh, you guys all saw Tan Shilkin. That's real, that's real powerful if it's done at the right time. It doesn't have to be wind up. It's just it's snappy. It's like, you know, uh, that, that jab that the fighter does, it, it, keep, it keeps the guy off balance. But again, we're not trying to knock him down, we're just trying to engage him. Okay, so both hands on that, you know, your hands are equidistant on both sides of the zone, I mean, of your nose. Okay, work your feet, hands and feet, work your feet, and press him away from you. Okay? No turn. Even if you're not moving the guy, be ready to finish when he, when he, when the, when the ball carrier moves it. So, you guys, I still made it. I got you still made it. Work your feet and can't start pressing me away from me. Keep pressure on me so that when I start to decide that I'm going to go do something with the ball carrier, nobody said, don't give them too much credit. Don't do it, these defensive guys. Nobody's going to stone you and stand right there. They're going to do this and start looking at them. Oh, now you got me. If you're ready, moving your feet, if you were being coached by me, the only little co coaching point that I'll give you is sooner, quicker, wider. After contact, move your feet sooner, move them quicker, and get them wider. 